ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾರ್ಕಿ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತಾಚಾರ್ಯವರ್ಗಿಯೋ ಮೇ ಸಂಧಿದತ್ತ ಸದಾ ಹೃದಯ ಗೋಪಾಲವಿಂಶತಿ ಅನುಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯನ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಾಚಂ ನಿಜಾಂಕ ರಸಿಕಾ ಪ್ರಸಮೇ ಕ್ಷಮಾಣೋ ವಕ್ತ್ರಾರವಿಂದ ವಿನಿವೇಶಿತ ಪಾಂಚಜನ್ಯ ವರ್ಣತ್ರಿಕೋಣ ರುಚಿರೇ ವರಪುಂಡರೀಕೆ ಬದ್ಧಾಶನೋ ಜಯತಿ ವಲ್ಲವ ಚಕ್ರವರ್ತಿ ಹಿಯ ವಾಚಂ ನಿಜಾಂಕ ರಸಿಕಾ ಪ್ರಸಮೀಕ್ಷಮಾಣ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯಶೋಧ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಟು ಕುಟ್ಟಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಡ್ಲ್ ದ ತೊಟ್ಟೆ ಸೊ ದ ಕೌಹರ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ದ ಚೀಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೌಹರ್ಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಆಯರ್ ಕುಲ ಕೊಳುಂದು ಶ್ರೀ ಗೋಪಾಲ is seated on the yantram the yantram is in the shape of a eight eight petaled lotus there is a lotus flower which has got eight petals and the yantram is in that shape and inside that yantram there is one another yantram which is a, in the form of a triangle trikonam three konam three sides of the triangle and varna trikona ruchire it has got white blue like that it is colored it it is enchanting and it it simply simply cools the mind when somebody looks at it it's so nice so endearing that trikona ruchire varapundarike it is in a lotus asanam so these gopa gopas and the gopikas gopala upasakargal this they place him at the center of this inner triangle the trikona and they enjoy his majestic beautiful divine illustrious beauty and here here he even sits on the yantram even though he is placed in the in that yantram in that cradle he actually sits he gets up and sits there baddha asana and in that ashtatala padmasana in the trikona yantram he he is seated he sits so he has on his lotus lips the shankam panchajanya he has got the shankam on his lotus lips because probably through that shank yashoda is feeding the milk and the shank that natham the shank has got pranava natham it symbolizes the essence of vedas the shank natham so his devotees now meditate dhyanam his devotees now meditate on him in this in this form in this manner and receive his blessings nija anka rasika the one who is placed on her lap and endearingly so lovingly yashoda walk so when yashoda places krishna kutti krishnan the child on her lap so lovingly he looks at her mouth the lips vacham vak the why yashoda's yashoda's talk yashoda's 
quantifying tampering oh my darling my kutti krishna all that she he looks at her and he prasamikshamanaha he does not even wink the eye and vaktraravinda vinivechita pancha janyaha in his mukharavindam that lotus lotus flower like beautiful tirumukham in that face in that coral lips the pavala vai in that she keeps the shanki in order to feed him the paladai and after feeding him she keeps the baby on the cot which is decorated with ashtatala padma yantram as well as inside it the tricolored mukona triangular yantram which is so enchanting and once he is placed there he gets up and sit sits there what a beautiful vision it would be and that is what the devotees meditate on him in this manner and receive his blessings he is there in this manner jayati he conquers me he he is victorious swami desikan mentions so there is actually kind of why the yantram first yantram is for rakshak it is for protecting the baby so that there is no evil glances casting on the kanan now vara pundarike vara 8 ashtatala padmam inside triangle in that triangle go pa la words are written so klim krishnaya govindaya gopi jana vallabhaya swaha so samanya shikshukalukku raksha mantram so here perumal himself is the baby and hence hence because of that vatsalyam motherly vatsalyam like triyalvar these gopargal gopas make this yantram to protect krishna so here this this the yant it has got the bijaksharam the it is 18 akshara mantram swami anbil gopalachar mentions this needs to be learnt from a guru and swami desikan is has so beautifully enjoyed this vision traditionally there are there are few interpretations for this shlokam baby krishna is lying down the saraswati the goddess of learning the gnanam she is the wife spouse of chaturmukha brahma and chaturmukha brahma is the son of shriman narayana so saraswati is kind of the daughter in law of perumal vishnu krishna so she stands and enjoys his beauty krishna's beauty and the tirum tirumeni the divya mangala vigraham with a great excitement relish she is simply relishing his beauty he is holding a conch in his mouth it is pancha janya and with which he blows to to announce his victory it has a delightful pranavam echoing the pranavam the most significant mantra the essence of vedam so that's resonating from the shankam and its shape is also like the the pranavam signifying the mantra all around the cradle stand the gopis and the gopas who have assembled there yashoda lays the baby in the cradle bearing the mantram the eight petaled colored lotus mantram with a triangle in the central central part this yantra is with bijakshara mantra and this mantra is gopala ashta dasakshari 18 akshara klim krishna ya govinda ya gopi jana vallabha ya swaha mantra mahodati so here it ensures safety 
auspiciousness, mangalam, well-being, protection for the baby. Although it's a divine baby, because of their vatsalyam. This suggestion by the Vedanta Acharya is that we, the small poor beings, can benefit from the potency of the mantra by the recitation of this slokam, as well as have bhakti contemplating on the most beautiful, divine, majestic Krishna baby. The adoption in our style of upbringing a child can be learnt from this. This is one interpretation. The other interpretation is Mother Yashoda keeps the baby in her lap. She is enjoying the Krishna's charm of the, the whole Trimeni, the face, the curly tresses, the lovely red lips and the large beautiful eyes, the chubby cheeks, the, the limbs, the small wonderful hands, the ro red rose-colored lotus-like the, the feet and she feeds him with milk in the conch, the shank, the paladai, as is the practice in our homes, old days. Nowadays, I don't know. So it is incidentally a homely object even in his hand. He slowly drinks the milk from the paladai, from the Panchajanya, from the shank, which is given, which is fed by Yashoda. He is also holding the shank, Yashoda is also holding at the, at the bottom. The mother perhaps tells absorbing Khatai, the Leelas, about Ramayanam and fondling words, Kuti, Palsapd, fondling words about him. He, he looks at he looks at the mother with wide open eyes, listening attentively with intent on these words and the mouth which utters. Then she lays him on the above referred to the seat, sanctified by the mantra, the eight petal lotus inside Trikona Yantram, all that. He is the Gopas chief. Even though he is not yet crowned, he is the uncrowned chief of Gopas. That Gopala reigns supreme, victoriously. And that is what it says. There is yet another interpretation. This Gopala mantram, the way Krishna needs to be contemplated, is talked about. Here, the chief of Cowherd boys, cowherd folks, Ayar Kula Chakravarti, Vallava Chakravarti, Baddasano Jayati Vallava Chakra. He is sitting. So he is sitting, the Chakravarti. Where is he sitting? In the Trikona Yantram, which is inside the gate petaled lotus flower. And he is looking at the Mahalakshmi who is on his lap. That Mahalakshmi, by looking at her, he is holding the shank in his hand, in his mouth. And he is blowing victorious Natham. That's the third interpretation. However, this interpretation is, is actually um, the first and second slokam. The Vande Brinda and this one is a Mangala slokam. Because here also everybody is singing Pallande, Potri Potri, Jaya Jayati, Vallava Chakravarti in order to not to have evil glances on the baby. Then only starts the the beautiful description of the Krishna Leelas from the third sloka. Hence, this interpretation could also be okay. However, all that we need to enjoy is the, is the Gopala Yantram, the Mantram enshrined in it, Krishna seated in it, and Jayati, victorious, victorious blowing. 
his devotees, his devotees meditate on him in this manner. That's the symbolizing the Shankam, symbolizing the holy Pranavam, the essence of the Vedas. Again, Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Gunashalini Sri Mate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Sarvam Shri Krishna Arpanamastu Danyosmi.